Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my new upload video. I want to make sure I share this to everybody um, that enjoys all FromSoft games. You know, like if you're a big fan like I am, this game is definitely no different than Dark Souls and all the other games that released in the past, right? So... If you're a veteran, you played all the games, you beat them all, you know how long it can take to grind out currency or XP in order to level up, you know, to to buy all the really expensive weapons and and items to help you along your journey, right? So I want to share this with you guys, even if you know, if you know about it, you know, if you don't. You know, make sure to leave a comment and let me know um, if this helped you or not. And also, if you already know about it, just comment and let me know what you did with all your blood echoes. And what you used it on to help you benefit in Bloodborne. Right? I would appreciate that a lot. Also, leave a like, subscribe, and just, you know, share your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section. So, first thing. The requirements to do this, right? You need to have defeated Vicar Amelia, which is the third boss fight at the Grand Cathedral. Okay? It's not too far. It's pretty much at the beginning of the game. It's very, very early on. So once you defeat her, you go back to the Hunter's Dream. All right? Go back to the Hunter's Dream, and what you're going to do is you're just going to go to... I'm just going to level up real quick, since I just got over a million. Um, cool, do Arcane. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to pick one of these altars, right? You're going to click on it. So you're going to search up the Chalice Glyph C-U-M-M-M-F-P-K. And again, you search the Chalice Glyph, C-U-M-M-M-F-P-K. All right, and then you'll see it pop up as question mark, place name, question mark. You know, that's how you know you have the right uh, dungeon. All right, so you hit Chamber of the Seal. So you're going to spawn in, right? Very simple. This is like the simplest way to get 1 million Blood Echoes every five minutes. Especially early on, or if you, let's just say you want to, you know, build a new character, or, you know, you're a veteran and you want to build a new character. This is the best way, because you can't respect in the game, all right? So, you cannot respect in the game to create different builds, which is unfortunate, but hey, there's other ways to work around that, so... And also, if you're just a beginner or if you're new to the game and you're getting really hyped for Elden Ring like myself and, you know, like you just want to get a lot of a lot of blood echoes and you want to level up and you want to get super strong early on in the game and you want to just like destroy any enemy that comes across your path, right? This is the way to do it, guys. This is um, me. I played all the Souls games. I played all the FromSoft games and I fully completed them so just like this one um so all you do is you come into this dungeon and you just look to the left as soon as you walk through this archway look to the left you'll see a, an enemy dying and then as soon as he dies you just spawn back and you're gonna get 83,000 souls every time and you just rinse and repeat and that's how easy it is there's nothing much else to it honestly and uh I hope this helps you guys out, and uh, please leave a comment, let me know if this has helped you out, and you know, I hope you guys enjoy Bloodborne just as much as everybody else in the community, because FromSoft, literally, in my opinion, makes the best action RPGs I've ever played, so I'm always enjoying these games, creating different builds. Maybe you want to do a PvP build or a new PvE build. Restart the game. Beat the third boss. And then just, you know, go back to Hunter's Dream and 
grind out, you know, a couple of million souls if you want. And it's very easy. Just takes like, you know, you can have like four million, three million souls in less than 30 minutes. So it's not bad. It's pretty good. Anyways, I'm out. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. I hope this helped you out. Make sure again, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know how it went for you. And uh, hope you guys are really hyped for Elden Ring just like I am. Because I'm super excited. We're two weeks away. And, uh, you know, it can't come any sooner, honestly. So, everybody take care. Be safe. Peace. I'm out.